I was very much interested in taking things apart and seeing how they worked and putting them back together again. And I think that's what led to my interest in becoming an engineer. In, uh, in the 1950s, when, when uh, I expressed my interest in being an engineer, um, people uh, uh, expressed doubts about it, uh, largely because they had no experience with uh, a black person wanting to be an engineer. Unfortunately, um, 20, 30 years later, I met young people who told me that they were discouraged by uh, uh, teachers and administrators in their, in their high schools from uh, pursuing careers in engineering. Given the demographic changes that are occurring in our country today, unless we get more uh, African Americans, Latinos, and American Indians, for example, involved in science and math, we will not have a sufficient number of American persons who are our scientists and engineers of the future because the face of America has changed. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday is a time of reflection. It's a time for us to, to think about how far we've come, but how much further we have to go in order to ensure equality of opportunity for poor and minority citizens of this country. As a youngster, uh, I became interested in building electronic devices and um, I became a, a radio repairman. I used to say that I'd repair any radio in Topeka, Kansas for four dollars plus parts and uh, ultimately I was able to uh, raise enough money to support my education by repairing radios. The, the segregated environment in which I grew up um, was difficult in the sense that one sometimes had great difficulty in trying to determine what was possible and what was not possible. The uh, mindset was that while um, black students were receiving a good education, uh, nevertheless the social um, issues that were related to discrimination were in many, many ways uh, debilitating. But I had the benefit of, of having very strong teachers in my elementary school, black teachers who cared mightily about the success of their students, even in an environment that had restrictions. The most important thing that my teachers in elementary school had for me were high expectations. And high expectations, I think, are the most significant thing that teachers can provide for young people today. And I believe that with those expectations, these young people will succeed. Martin Luther King recognized that big changes had to occur in America in order to fulfill the dream that he had for, for this country. And that people of goodwill of all colors and, and backgrounds and religions could come together and, and help solve those problems. I believe very strongly that he was on the right course. And it's my hope that we will continue to do that as we go forward.